We're live. At this time, will all sergeants please start the recordings? PC recording done. According to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing vote on the Committee of Health. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video? And to minimize disruption, please place all electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Levine, we're ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Levine, Chair of the City Council Health Committee. I want to acknowledge we are joined by colleagues, Councilmember Diaz, Councilmember Powers, Councilmember Barron, Councilmember Yeager, Councilmember Perkins, Councilmember Holden, Councilmember Levin, and forgive me if I've missed any of our colleagues. Uh, Councilmember Amprey Samuel as Council well. And Councilmember Eugene. Council Great, did I catch everybody? Excellent, thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Wonderful. Today we'll be voting on proposed introduction 2064A, whose lead sponsor is Councilmember Helen Rosenthal. This bill would require the creation of an advisory board to report on issues relating to gender and racial equity and the provision of healthcare services and in employment decisions made in hospitals and other, co other covered healthcare services in New York City. The board would consist of a multidisciplinary panel of representatives that span a wide array of backgrounds and expertise, including labor unions, medical professionals, trade groups, residents and interns, and experts in gender and racial equity. This body would be charged with analyzing factors that contribute to racial and gender equity, and excuse me, racial and gender inequity in hospitals and other healthcare environments, and make recommendations on an annual basis. The COVID pandemic has highlighted the deep disparities that exist within our healthcare system. America's healthcare institutions have a long and ugly history of race-based medical experimentation, structural racism, gender and race-based employment discrimination and abuse, and deeply disparate health outcomes on the basis of race and, race and gender. These last 11 months have shown us the danger of ignoring these disparities. To address these problems, we must name them, study their causes and effects, and then change our behaviors accordingly. This legislation is one step in a very long process that our healthcare system desperately needs to undergo. I want to thank and congratulate again, the sponsor of this legislation, Councilmember Helen Rosenthal. And I very much look forward to voting and passing this important bill out of our health committee. And I thank you all for being here today. Back to you, Sergeant. Or to committee council, forgive me. I'm not sure who's next. Committee council. Thank you. And I turn to the clerk. Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on health. Roll we'll call vote on proposed intro number 2064A. Chair Levine. I vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye on all. Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. Holden. Aye. Powers. Aye. Councilmember Darmo Diaz. Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the bill has been adopted. Thank you. Excellent. So I think we conclude this hearing. Is that correct? Thank you all very much for joining us. And this does now indeed conclude our hearing of the Health Committee.